welcome back to another episode here on the Never Stop Gaming. Last episode, we worked on this castle a little bit and making the death games at our shopping district and spawn-ish type area. This episode, I'm going to search out an ocean monument because I think our next project, while this project isn't done and this project isn't done, I really want to uh, have a guardian farm. I think it's about time someone made one and I no one has raised a hand or at least uh, found a monument and taken it on, so I will be doing that uh, this episode. I may not get the farm done or completed or even really started today, uh, but I'm definitely going to be taking on the ocean monument uh, today. So I'm going to go track one down, and once I have found one, I will be back, guys. Alright guys, I have found one just right there. You can uh, see the sea lanterns. Uh, the kelp is thrown on it. Um, it actually looks really, really cool to set up a little thing. I should have brought a bed, 100% uh, what I should have done, but I didn't because uh, I'm stupid. Uh, so I'm going to be taking that off. I want to put doors with me uh, so I can breathe, have a little bit of spare wood. I guess I'll put that in here. Don't really need that. Don't really need that. This food. All right. <laughs> are about to take on a guardian temple first one of the server let's see what we can do here i want to try and break into the temple from above and kill that first guardian elder guardian boss right up here oh okay okay oh come on get close to him actually going pretty smooth so far that was easy. Let's place a door. Oh. That was easy. Easy so far. Okay. Oh, okay. That scared me. Alright, so now we need to search. Um, oh, yeah. I can't mine. So I need to search for the rest of them. Okay. Alright, there's another one. Okay. Let's break off their string. Like, place that there. Oh, excuse you. Very rude of you to do that. Okay. Ooh, this is not that bad. Alright, get this big guy right here. Get close to him so his thorns retract. Oh yeah, try and swim away. Not gonna work. Come on, retract those thorns. Oh, got him. Wait. Oh, no. Buddy, I'll have you know that you cannot do that to I. Alright. Ooh, sweet. Really not going too bad. Thank you. Okay. Oh, no, it is right here. Okay. Cool. Place this door. Excuse you, sir. Alright, let's go for it. Got him. Sweet! That's all three, I believe. So, uh, <laughs> pretty awesome. Pretty easy. That was not too bad. Not too bad at all. So now I need to find the fun rooms. Oh, there's one. Wait, okay. Door in the corner. That's not what I meant to do. But this works too. But these are going to be necessary in clearing out the water of this place. And uh, I'm going to have to go back to the base and get some basic things. I'm going to get obsidian to make a nether portal. I'm going to get a bed. Uh, I'm going to get furnaces and coal uh, to smelt these because we're going to have to be doing that a lot. I'm going to get a ton of cobblestone uh, to section off places to make it easier to clear the water with the sponges. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of work. Uh, now I'm not ex exactly sure um, what the uh, farm entails so I'm going to watch a video on doing that as well. Uh, but I, 
but I do know that I'm going to probably have to take this whole structure out and that would be easier without the water. Um, so maybe you just have the one sponge room. Uh, kind of disappointing, but you know, you take what you can get. You're here. Stuff out. Here. Most positive. Alright, uh, I am going to, uh, take a little break. Um, go get some supplies, uh, for, you know, really taking this thing on. Uh, kind of learn what I actually need to do in order to take this on and then I will be back. All right, so I am back and I have a portal, but as stupid as I am, I forgot to bring a flint and steel. So I was like, all right, I'm going to uh, dig down and find flint and some iron and then come back up. So I started looking around if there's a natural cave and I just see this hole and I look down there and I see stone brick, just like this. Someone has been to this island. They know about the temple. And I come down here, I was like, okay, so maybe someone like has a little secret bunker. No. Another uh, stronghold. Uh, I knew that there were multiple of these in worlds. So I didn't think that there'd be a stronghold right on top of our end. Uh, of our guardian thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, now I have to get away out of here. Um, actually, come on. Oh, sweet. Awesome. I'm going to get some ladders. Uh... To go down there and I forgot a bed all right after a little bit of work I have got our portal set up and hooked up into the nether and upon further investigation this is not the stronghold we originally went to uh, in order to gain access to the end but it is the stronghold that someone made a portal to the nether and set up you know another tunnel to and yeah so two different strongholds um, from the one we originally raided and the one we actually used to get to the end. This is the one we used to get to the end. So when I came through, I came down into the portal that is just right down here. I can show you guys. Um, so I thought it was kind of redundant to, uh, even make a portal in the first place, but I had already done, you know, all that effort. Uh, but yeah, the portal room is literally, like, right here. Yeah. So... Cool, I guess. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to uh again <laughs> get to work, and uh, I'm gonna figure out exactly what I need to do. Uh, this, and then I will be back. Um, with some knowledge and maybe some help. Uh, not really sure yet though. All right, I have just got back from the inn because I had to repair my armor and stuff, and I also got some more sand and glass melting up and dye, so I can dye this. Uh, blue like I think it looks better um, I really only have 64 glass these okay I need to step up my game um, but this is what we're looking at so far so what I have done kind of hard to see right now but what I have done is I, yeah, there we go. I have cleared out all the like spikes and kelp and seagrass from on top of this that is because we're gonna have to go around and play soul stand here in a bit and I've also cleared some kelp uh, just on the immediate vicinity around but essentially how this is going to work is i don't have to clear out this water or the temple really uh, i have to drain the inside of the temple uh, i don't have to build walls on the edges or anything uh, i build a tube here i place soul sand down there and it pushes them upwards and then i'll make water flow channels up here on the top uh, which is probably going to be the hardest part of the whole thing uh, either that or draining the inside of the temple uh, but hopefully the next time I come back, I will have um, that done. Uh, the water flow channels uh, flowing into this pipe right here. Uh, so I'm going to get working on that, and I'll be back. All right, guys. So uh, a lot of work later. Um, and uh, the mechanism is in place, and the water streams are also in place. Um, and I have gathered up uh, two shulker boxes full of soil sand because I have to place it on every single block on the monument um self uh to push them upwards and then get them in the stream and then they'll fall down the tube in the uh so that's what i have to do next and then i have to clear out the insides of the uh monument itself um but yeah downstairs the mechanism is in place i can go through this portal to get there without you know dropping down the tube uh, i set up another portal um but we will decorate that uh later right now i'm just going to uh throw on some tunes and really 
get to work on putting this little sound down and i will be back when i have finished all right so i have completely covered this thing in soul sand didn't it uh take as long as i thought it would and it did require uh, a full double chest almost like to the stack i uh, was super close so now i'm on the inside and uh sectioning off these so i can start clearing it uh like i have done i'm not gonna really work uh maybe i should place it towards no i probably won't because i'm i mean gonna be doing a lot of you know not this um gonna I mean, there's gonna be probably a lot of water coming in i brought some furnaces oh i will put um uh, so that i can um melt the wet sponges back into sponges uh, and keep going and not have to keep swimming to the island because it's pretty annoying um but there's actually not a lot of guardians in here they're mostly stuck high up in the little tube i don't have it killing them i just have it uh blocked off right now so they're up there um most like mainly getting just stuck uh which isn't good for us okay let's break that off okay what are there here 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 got it this room's done all right so i have worked on this for quite some time now this actually took a lot longer than the soul sand thing did because i had to clear the rooms and then dig it all out and soul sand was just place to place place um but i'm working on this tube right here i think i want to have the nether portal uh like right here uh real tall and it'll go up all the way um and then you know i'll, I'll put some cool decorations in here maybe some like grassy areas but that won't be this episode right now i just want to get it like you know a little decent looking a little accessible um so now the port is probably going to go like here ish and then you can like yeah see him dropping down which is really cool um and then you come down the slider and if you want to switch it into xp mode normally they'll die up there and the items get spit out right here which have just been despawning um since i don't have a storage system set up yet which i also have to do um but they if you switch in xp mode you flick that lever they fall down uh but yeah so i'm going to work on this room down here uh is what i'm going to be doing uh so i will do that and then when i've got some progress i will be back all right guys we have finished the area down here and this is what it's looking like i think it looks super cool i've got the storage system in place too super simple um definitely not perfect um because it's based on a water stream um and because soul sand pushes stuff up uh, i don't even know if it slowed it down before but i thought uh soul sand used to slow items down on water um i can't slow them down enough to make sure that the they would land in there um always and then if they couldn't then to go to here then to go to here they're just going too fast um that i can't do it and i can't uh put the ice anymore back because they won't make it across that sign so it's an imperfect system um but soon it won't matter because it'll all be filled up anyways um uh, but i actually uh got a mini guardian you can put it on your head i think i look pretty funny um uh, but yeah you can switch it into manual mode right by clicking this to put the lever here uh because this is not going to be just for me uh but we will have more info on that in the next episode guys um so i've got uh some broker boxes over at our other area on the island uh which we are ready to pack up and move on from and head back home uh finally so yeah and you can see them falling through here it looks really nice uh but yeah so let's go through our portal uh, which now leads right to here and this is the rental the stronghold and this is the uh, the little island that we had so we're gonna come through here and pack up everything we've got into the shulker boxes and then head on back to base actually probably that back home so I'm going to pack these up and then I will meet you guys back at the base. And as the sun sets on another beautiful day in Minecraft, so does the time that we have for this episode. 
Uh, we actually ended up doing a whole lot more than I thought we were going to be able to do this episode, which is really awesome, honestly. Uh, a couple things that kind of happened on the side, I guess, kind of during this time frame, is me and Mackenzie messed around a lot, and we found some donkeys, breeding them for a mule, messed around a lot with some horses, uh, ended up Midnight died, a uh, new member on the server named JT, really nice guy, he was gonna prank me and move my Midnight to someone else's base, but it died uh, in transport, so him and Mackenzie went out and found another black horse and tried to fool me, but I actually got Midnight because um, he was so fast, uh, and this horse is not very fast, so I, I knew as soon as I went to ride him, which I do uh, like riding my horses. So that's why I like having my pathways actually work and why uh, soon I want to get it hooked up to the castle so I can ride my guys around. But we do have a mule who's really cool. Uh, but yeah, that's just about it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making it. We got an entire guardian farm up and running and there will be more info on shopping and stuff like that for the uh, drops in the next episode, more than likely. So I hope you enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching.